Hello, Hordini TV viewers. Welcome to another show. What's in the bag box? So this means it's nightworms. This will be July's nightworms. August, I know, I know, I know, okay, I know. Uh, August should be here shortly. Uh, shut up. I mean, don't shut up, I missed. Yeah, whatever. I know I'm late. So, uh-oh, something just came out. Oh, that was coffee. That's on me, though. Hang on, that's on me. This is cold brew coffee that was in it. Right there. But it got busted open, but that's probably, I don't blame them at all. Shit happens in the mail. We got a crappy mail going on right now, so. So we got cold brew coffee. Or you might. There we go. Okay. Let's continue on, shall we? And when you see me look there, it's because my monitor is over there. So sometimes I need to look over to make sure that we're getting things in focus. So, nightworms. I always butcher this. I think it's like $39.99 a month. Um, it's for readers. Uh, you get like one or two books a month. I think I got three at some times. They're always really good selections. Like, I need to train myself to stop buying books around the time that Nightworms is going to be delivered because even though it's rare it does happen that they will send me something I already have but you're the one who wins because uh, I ended up putting them up for a contest a book a book a book a book a book a book but inevitably the stuff that I do get I want so either I already own it because I want it, or I'm very happy because I wanted to buy it at some point anyway. I can't ever speak highly enough of Nightworms. I'm always praising. So let's get to the book first. Um, we got a hardback in here. There's a paperback in here. There's a piece of paper. So let's see what we got here. And hopefully, if I get my, my, my act together, you might see something from Horror DNA in one of these packages. Oh. I don't want to scream. <laughs> but this is awesome. Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby. I read his Black Top Wasteland. It was phenomenal. I use that word way too much, but it lived up to all of the hype that was surrounding it. And Razor Blade Tears, aside from being just a fantastic title is something that I definitely wanted. Uh, I'm very, 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 very happy to see this. Because I haven't bought this one yet. So, so I'm very happy. This is Razor Blade Tears. And if you haven't yet, read Black Top Wasteland. It's so good. Especially if you like thrillers, like like along the lines of maybe Lee Child or or um maybe some Robert Crace, you know, just violence and, and yeah, yes, yes. So let's see what we got here next. Ooh, Savage Mountain by John Quick. I've heard about this. I, I, haven't, I don't think I've read any of John Quick's work yet, but Savage Mountain I have definitely heard about and I can't wait to read it. Oh, I need to read the thing because I know, I know y'all love that. Um, Let's see what we got here. Ta-da! Okay, for Savage Mountain, Amy and her friends just want to do a little whitewater rafting in the Smoky Mountains. When her jealous boyfriend decides to try and make their amateur guide look foolish, they end up stranded along the banks of the Pigeon River. While searching for help, they run across a group of men growing for their cartels. Men who have no intention of letting them escape with their lives. That was scary. 
I've been to uh, Pigeon River, I think. Unless it's uh, not really a real river, then um, then I'll look like a jackass. Wouldn't it be the first time. <laughs> Four. Razor blade tears. Ike Randolph has been out of jail for 15 years with not so much as a speeding ticket in all that time. But a black man with cops at the door knows to be afraid. The last thing he expects to hear is that his son Isaiah has been murder, murdered along with Isaiah's white husband Derek. Ike had never fully accepted his son but is devastated by his loss. Derek's father Buddy Lee was almost as ashamed of Derek for being gay as Derek was ashamed of his father's criminal record. Buddy Lee still has contacts in the underworld though and he wants to know who killed his boy. Ike and Buddy Lee, two ex-cons with little in common other than a criminal past and a love for their dead sons, band together in their desperate desire for revenge and their request to do better for their sons in death than they did in life, these hardened men will confront their own prejudices about their sons and each other as they rain down vengeance upon those who hurt their boys. Provocative and fast-paced, Razor Blade Tears is a story of bloody retribution, heartfelt change, and maybe even redemption. Wow! Gosh damn, I have so much to read right now, but mm, this is going somewhere near the top. Okay, I, I got so excited I almost lost the bag. Okay, so let's see the tchotchkes. We also get the tchotchkes, never forget the tchotchkes. That's it in there. Okay, so the bag has the tchotchkes. It also gives the, um, like the postcard of the theme and that sort of thing. Make, there we go. Okay, so, there we go. Hang on. Ah! Hope nothing was in there. I'm like ripping it up like a child. Um, this is the surgical, I can't read this. The surgical, the surgical studies press. That's a cool little bookmark right there. I like this. That's going to go in my bookmark bin. Boop. Um, I'm liking this too. Okay, so the the theme is Sweet Revenge. And I really like how Nightworms has, for the past, uh, more than the more than a few um, boxes or whatever, they're having themed bookmarks too, which is really cool. I don't know who makes these. I probably has on the thing. So there's the back of that. I, I, I kind of like whoever's doing their theme bookmarks. Rock on with your bad self. Um, rad coffee, rad coffee, rad coffee. Use code blah for ten percent off. Rad coffee. Okay, so hang on. See, it's just a little discount. Uh, Ray, uh so the theme is sweet revenge for July 2021. Um, and I got a book plate for. Razor Blade Tears, a signed book plate with his autograph. I need to fix that though. I'd like to meet him in real life. I, I book plates are cool, but I like the uh, the real deal. But I understand why you have to do a book. Uh, there's John Quicks. I understand why you have to do a book plate. They, they, they it's just cost efficient. Um, oh, hang on. This is awesome. This is a sticker. Who's the sticker from? This is a cold brew coffee sticker from at Rad Coffee, R A D C O F F E E on Twitter. Oh, and the bookmark is at the Ink Smith, T H E I N K S M I T H E. I guess on Twitter, but I I, I kind of like I kind of dig that little sticker there. I love the stickers that come in here. And we got a certain dark th oh, certain dark things by Sylvia Morano Garcia. Shh, this person wrote um. Oh God, Mexican Gothic? I hope it's Mexican Gothic. I'm gonna look like a jackass, but that's nothing new. But that's actually a really, I love that cover. I really like that. And it's a, it's a, it doubles as a postcard. So if I had any friends, I'd mail a postcard to them. Um, that's it. That's it for this month. 
August is coming soon because I got my shipping notification. So hopefully I will have a unboxing for that sooner than later and it won't be six months or a year. Um, again, thank you so much for watching these. I really truly appreciate it. I appreciate the kind words. I only want to see kind words. I will ignore all the negativity because I don't need negativity in my life. And you shouldn't be sending it. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Y'all have a great day or night. Just have a good one, man.